It's time for Real Estate 101 with the Carrie Brown team from Realty Executives Preferred Advisors. Good Sunday morning to you. This is Carrie Brown, broker owner of Realty Executives Preferred Advisors, and you're listening to Real Estate 101. I am here today with Wilma Booth and Ed Roach, and they are from Atria Hearthstone. How are you guys? We're doing great, Carrie. How are you? Good morning, Carrie. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. So today we're going to be talking about this great community, um, Atria Hearthstone. My team and I went out and visited with them. We just kind of wanted to see, um, had lunch, amazing food, got to tour the the, the community and um, and meet some of the, the patrons there and um, or the residents. And they were just, they're adorable, first off, but the place is gorgeous. Half my team wanted to move in, like, right then. By the end of the day, we all did. We need our own wing. Um, And as the show goes along, you'll see why. But let's talk a little bit about the community and what all you guys do. Well, thank you for this opportunity first, Carrie. Uh, We are a community of 239 resident apartments. We consist of independent living assisted living, and memory care. We have uh, two buildings on our campus. Our west building is primarily our independent living. Our east building is our assisted living and our memory care. We are located just east of Gage on 6th Street. So I probably need the memory care already. (laughs) Um, Everybody's stories, it's just overload. Some days I'm like, hmm, I'm not quite sure. While I'm looking for my keys for the fourth time of the day. (laughs) Well, in our memory care, they have a wonderful group of folks. And they're very active, too. And they would help you find your keys, too. And then it'd be road trip. (laughs) (laughs) Road trip, definitely. So you guys, uh, when we were there, you guys were going to have a a corn shucking contest? That's right. We did. We had a corn shucking contest. Um, Our corporation had encouraged us to have a corn cook-off as well since it was July. So our residents shucked corn, and then we also had a director's corn cook-off, and that was a lot of fun. Our residents, which are uh, we have some ambassadors, they were our judges, and so they had a lot of fun taste-testing our products that we made. And go ahead and brag a little bit, Wilma. She was the winner of our contest. <laughs> yes, I was. Only maybe by default because our chef um, that we're very proud of, Brett Ekas, he came to us from Plantation Steakhouse. He was the former owner for many, many years. And uh, Brett won, really, because he had corn fritters but he had won the contest in the east building so i was actually the runner up with my mexican cornbread (laughs) hey a win's a win take it when you can yeah yeah okay so let's talk about what the the daily life for a resident would be the daily life we we do approximately 300 activities on a monthly basis so our residents get at least I have six or seven opportunities to be engaged throughout the day. We do an activity or an exercise program twice a day. We have a walking group that meets every morning. We call it our Hearthstone Hoofers. Um, meals, they participate in meals. We have restaurant style dining. So they come down to our restaurant and they order from a menu each meal that they um, come down for. So when it comes to the like the units they live in, how do they pick and what all's involved and what they get when they're there? Well, we have different apartments in independent living. We have studios, one bedrooms, and two bedrooms, and they can choose whatever fits their budget. Um, with that, include, the rent includes housekeeping once a week, laundry and uh, of the towels and the sheets and we strip the bed and also remake it for you which was a kind of a draw for some of your staff <laughs> we were all on board <laughs> <laughs> and then um, then of course the three meals a day free transportation to and from um, 
our door to the doctor's offices anywhere in Topeka. So no matter, you know, if they, it's bad weather, they don't want to drive to the doctor's office, we will take them there. So that's a great benefit as well. All utilities are paid, including um, the cable TV, which is Cox. And also um, we have Wi-Fi that's available. And also uh, we have a lifeline button as well. So that's for emergency responses, <coughs> and our staff would respond to see what they need. We do have nursing staff available 24 hours a day for our residents also. And we also have a security guard that is there at night as well, making sure that all the doors are, sh are locked and secured in the windows as well. So that's a nice added comfort for families. Our apartments are 100% maintenance free too. Which is awesome. I mean, I went home and I was telling my husband about it because he, we know Wilma from way back and I was telling him I got to see her and everything and uh I said, I think we just need to move in right now. And he said, that would be so much cheaper than living where we do. <laughs> <laughs> he said, and, and free meals every day? Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, you don't have to take and sweep the, the sidewalk, snow removal. You know, those we have a, a great group that comes in and plows out the, the driveway when it's snowy or just a little bit of snow. So it's awesome i like i've been there before too for a whole week and it was pampered living i tell you and it's affordable for people so while we were there my team and i we all had um, lunch and just got to visit and kind of see how things ran and we had lasagna that day so let's talk a little bit more about what all you guys offer when you say restaurant style dining exactly what does that mean okay well in the restaurant style dining they, they have a menu. They come in, staff wait on them, and take their order. Um, they choose off the menu. There's always two main entrees to choose from for lunch and dinner. If they don't like what's on the menu that day, there's a whole other side of the menu that they can choose from, from the fryer or the grill side, plus tons of sides to choose from. Also, we serve breakfast three times a day. So for those folks that love to have breakfast for dinner, that's great because you can get that at Atria. Um, plus, we have a fruit bar. Always have apples, bananas, and oranges available 24-7. Also have a snack and juice bar available. So you get hungry during the middle of the night, you want a glass of juice or milk or even coffee or pop, come down to the to the snack bar, and then you can raid the refrigerator. There's a refrigerator up there. We'll have snacks, um, yogurts, jellos, puddings. Um, and then there's also granola bars on that bar as well. So, you know, even in the middle of the night, you can come down and have something good to, to snack on. Also, um, our meals go for two-hour time spans, so we don't have a scheduled seating time. Our residents can come down anytime within that two hours, pick up a menu, and have a waiter or a waitress take their order. So I know that they would be typically the part of a fear of moving out of your own home is a little bit of freedom. So whenever it comes to guests, say they want to have you know friends over for dinner or something like that, how does that work? Well, we are very family friend oriented. Um, guests can come in, go to our main reception desk, get a lunch ticket or a dinner ticket, and join their loved one for a meal. We don't ask for advanced reservations unless it's going to be a large group. We also offer a private dining room. So if our get, if our residents have a large group, they can reserve a private dining room, or we can accommodate up to 32 guests in our community room, too. Also, all of our independent living apartments have a full kitchen, so if the resident prefers, they can prepare meals in their rooms. So really, they're not u losing any kind of freedom when it comes to that. Really, they're not it's just they have a place that's helping to take care of them. They just don't have the mortgage and the lawn mowing and taxes. Yeah, taxes and insurance and 
having to clean their own house and you get your sheets changed weekly. Are you seeing why we're all trying to move in and that, you know, they're going to have to start a younger age wing? <laughs> hey, Carrie, let me add to that too. Our residents decorate their apartments as they want. So they add all of their own furniture, wall hangings. We can mount TVs on the wall for them. Um, it's all about our residents. And they can have pets too, right? At a certain size pet. We are pet friendly. Um, We really don't have a size limit as long as um, the pet is well behaved and the resident is able to care for them. All of our independent living apartments have access to the outdoors, either by a patio or a a, um, balcony. So say, for instance, somebody's thinking about that option. How should they get a hold of you guys? Well, there's a couple different ways. They can either just walk into the building. Our address is 3515 Southwest 6th, or they can call us at um, 785-234-6225, or they can um, go to our website and request a tour. That's atriahearthstone.com. I know that there's also another atria further down the street, and I believe it's 3415 What's the difference in those two buildings? The 3415, which is the building that is further to the east, that is our assisted living and our memory care. 3515 Southwest 6 is primarily independent living. So I would imagine with your residents, with all being in similar age categories, they have a lot in common typically, and make really good friendships there also, which would be something I would think that if you were living on your own and you really didn't have the capability or feel comfortable going out at night and driving and things like that, it would be kind of hard to have that kind of social life that you would have if you were at Atria Hearthstone. So tell me a little bit about what you think, um, you know, with all the social life and the activities that you guys promote, what, um, what do you see? What we see is from... Folks that move from the home setting to the atria, they thrive. They make new friends. They eat better. They get involved and engaged, and they just thrive at atria because they're around people, and that makes a much better, happier person. You know, they get to enjoy a better senior life um, I would say a much healthier person, too, Wilma. Yeah, I agree. Yes. Um, Through our activities, they're just so involved, and there's so many for them to choose from. Um, From 360 activities a month, they can go to bingo. They can take bus rides. They go out to eat. We do a casino trip twice twice a month, so if those residents who choose to partake in that, they can. We have a happy hour every week. We also have church services. We have a chapel on our campus. So really, there's no reason to leave there other than the casino, which I will say sold several of us in. (laughs) We're like, okay, we just need a wing. We'll sell real estate from here, get our laundry done. Things would be so great. Get your hair and your nails done, too. Oh, that's right. You guys have a salon upstairs. That's right. So that makes a difference, too. But it depends on if they want to go to their own stylist, then they can. Absolutely. So casino trip, which one do you guys go to? We hit them all. <laughs> <laughs> so if it's not hit in one place, you can go to the next. That's yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. So when you say transportation, then that does involve more than just doctor visits. If you're taking them to the casino, what other places do you take them? We do a weekly grocery trip. Um, We go to Walmart once a week. We do, during the holiday times, we'll go to the mall or we'll do some of the other department stores. We do holiday light tours where we take the residents out and about and see all the Christmas lights and decorations. Also, if they have a special destination that they want to go to, like maybe they want to go back by their old home. Well, that's a road trip for them. They love to go country cruising. Uh, get out in the rural areas and see some of the um, ghost towns is where they were going last night. So they had picked a ghost town uh, in Wabansi County, and they were going to that. Um, So you never know where they want to go. But um, sometimes they want to go find the most favorite food. And so sometimes that involves pie. 
and they've been in been known to go to Dover and have pie or Green Acres and have pie. You just never know. It's whatever they want to do. So they have a better social life than I do. <laughs> they do. They have a great social life. That's awesome. We just have ballparks and, you know, things like that. <laughs> so join us again here in just a few after our sponsors um, a commercial here real quick. And thanks for listening to Real Estate 101. I'll be back here in a few with Wilma and Ed from Atria Hearthstone. Southwest Topeka has a good neighbor. State Farm agent Jim Garrison, now at 29th and Urish. If your current insurance situation has you going around in circles, get off the roundabout and stop in and meet Jim and his wonderfully efficient staff. Let Jim Garrison give you a quote and make the Garrison comparison. He's confident that with State Farm's competitive rates, the right coverage, and his unmatched service, you'll want to make him your new insurance agent. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And Jim Garrison is there for you. Northeast of the roundabout at 29th and Urish. Thanks for joining us again. This is Carrie Brown, broker owner, realty executives, preferred advisors, and you're listening to Real Estate 101. And I am back with Ed Roach and Wilma Booth from Atria Hearthstone here in town. And we were just talking about before the break the social life of the residents there at Atria Hearthstone. Um, one of the things that we didn't mention is you guys recently had a luau. Yes, we did, and we're so sorry you didn't get to attend it, but it was pretty awesome. We have a whole roasted hog and a tiki bar and a Hawaiian singer, and all the residents dressed in costume. A lot of them had been to Hawaii, and they were wearing their moos and their Hawaiian shirts, and it was so festive, um, and it was well attended. It's just something that they look forward to every year and so that's one of the four that we have every year we have an upcoming german fest coming up in october and that will be a lot of fun too we'll serve um, german style food we have german beer and then we also have a polka band that comes in and it's well attended too and we even have a few that will do a polka so we want to in, invite you and your team, Carrie, to come out and, and have fun with us at that. <laughs> we could try and behave long <laughs> enough. <laughs> <laughs> so what are the other two big res- big uh, events that you guys do? We have the holiday uh, open house for our families, uh, our residents and families, and that's always well attended. We'll have anywhere from... Four to five hundred people, probably. Yeah, that come. It's just uh, all kinds of holiday foods and very, very nice. And music as well. And it's a festive time of the year. The communities will be decorated. and They're so pretty. Uh, we invite you to come visit us uh, during any, any time of the year. But the holidays is always so pretty. Also, we have Mardi Gras in March. And that's always fun. And our residents love to get dressed up and uh, participate in it as well. So you'll be getting to come to that as well. See, I'm starting to wonder if us young people can keep up with the residents. (laughs) Sometimes it's difficult. (laughs) Okay, so um, when it comes to, I know with people that are looking to downsize their home and they're considering this option, I know with my company, we will help you liquidate your, your personal belongings. We have a gal that will come in and help you sort with the keep, don't keep, you know, what do I want to take with me, um, all of those things. And we can hook you up with movers if you don't have family nearby um, and also sell your home. So we can help get all that organized for you. Um, just be sure and let us know. And um, also, whenever it comes to... To making this decision, I know independence is a is a really hard thing to let go of, but this isn't that kind of facility at all. I mean, you can keep your car, correct? That's right, and we have covered parking for you as well. So you still have the ability to come and go, yep. and it's, we encourage it. You know, we want people to be active and still keep up with their friends. You know, in the neighborhood, their church friends, bowling friends. You know. Uh, we have a gentleman who is 91 or 2 that goes out and plays tennis every morning. And he's coming back from playing tennis as we are coming in at, 
at a little after 8 o'clock. And he's a very active 91 or 92-year-old man. Mm -hmm. Just, it's amazing what, you know, we have an active bunch. So you're really not giving up your independence at all. What you're giving up is having to worry about the mortgage and the utilities and maintaining the yard and insurance and taxes (laughs) and, and cleaning your own house or having to have someone come in and clean it for you. And you get somebody to drive you to go, you know, do your grocery shopping if you don't want to drive yourself and to play poker at, at the casino if you want to do that. That's right. Yeah. What what more could you ask for in life? You know, we provide a quality life for these residents. And, you know, and, and we get to have fun with them, too. Um, just prior to this, we had a gentlemen in our office visiting with us which we visit with them quite often they'll stop in our office and just see how our day's going and share fun things with us and um you know they're just a great group very very talkative and they want to share their life past and present so and we I'll, we also learn so much from our seniors. Just just listening to their stories, their life history is awesome. Oh, yeah. Always something to learn from them. They're so fascinating um, with their families, too. They become our extended family as well. So uh, we've made a lot of great friends through the times. and And now that some of these kids... You know, they've had their grandparents there, and now these kids are now looking for themselves. Mm-hmm. So, you know, Atria, the West Building was built in 1988-89, and uh, we have had some folks coming in in the last couple of weeks saying that their grandmother was there, and now they're looking. And uh, so for their self, for independent living, and so... That's great. Um, We also have our East Building that was built in 1999. And so, you know, we just see these transitions of families through the years. So speaking of the families and the, uh, what is the age um, demographic for the community there? Uh, I would say... Like the legal age for assistant living, a person has to be 21 in the state of Kansas in order to move into an assistant living. For our independent living, we really do not have an age limit. We have folks there as young as in their 50s on up to 95 years old. I would say the average age on on our campus is probably 80 to 85 years old. Wow. So... Definitely something that the younger community probably doesn't realize, you know, in your in your 60s and 70s. So it's definitely something to, to look into, you know, not that you may be ready right now, but one of these days when the yard's too big and you just don't want to mess with it anymore. Um, it's always good to take in, um, be thinking about what does your future, what, what do you want in your retirement? And so that's why we always encourage everybody to come in and, Take a tour, have lunch with us, just like you all did. See what we're about, experience it, and uh, then that way you can make a great decision of where you want to come to. It, it's easy as just give us a call at 785-234-6225. Ask for myself, my name's Ed, or ask for Wilma. Um, we'll be happy to show you around. Absolutely. And if you hear my show on a regular basis, call me and I can get you in touch with them if you missed that. But your number again was? 785-234-6225. And again, if you're looking or considering selling your home and say it's not something you want to do immediately, but you just want to get some ideas, we will come out. It's free to you. We come out. We look at the property. We tell you where to spend money, where not to spend money so that you're not wasting your money. We definitely don't want you to put money in a in an area or in a, a project that you're just not going to see a return for. Um, so we're pretty well versed in that. We've sold tons of homes, and uh, we'd be happy to do that for you and give you an idea of what you're going to sell for and how much you'll walk away with. Uh, we lay it all out in black and white. We have no ambiguities whenever it comes to making sure you understand what you're getting into um, and how much you should walk away with. 
And our number is 785-213-5188. And also, if you're looking to buy a home um, or if you just want to see what's on the market out there to compare your home to, check out our website at TopekaHomeAdvisors.com. So whenever we go through and we break down what your costs are and how much you're going to make whenever you sell your home, you could be talking to Atria. Ed, will you explain um, how you guys work exactly, like what's involved in living there? Well, our residents, they do not sign an extended lease. Our contracts are all month-to-month contracts. We do not have a buy-in. We have a flat rate that our residents pay. Uh, Now, depending on um, their service, our, our assisted living, we have different care levels that if our residents needed additional services from our nursing staff, they would pay a little extra for above that flat fee. Gotcha. So you could be setting up your budget and know exactly how much you're going to have each month and and how that all works. Um, So when you say different levels of service, what all does that entail? So what levels are there? Well, we have the independent living, and then we have assisted living, which we have six different care levels. Our care levels are determined by one of our nurses doing an assessment on our potential residents, and um, the assessment is, is then calculated into hours. So our care levels are hours per week that our residents need help with personal care, such as bathing, dressing, medication management, escorts to meals. Um, and then our memory care, it's an all-inclusive monthly rate. So whatever service our residents need, they get at the monthly rate. Whenever it comes to people that are still really active and they like to they like to be, you know, and like your fellow that goes and plays tennis, what all kind of activities do you guys have to keep them fit and healthy? We offer at least two exercise programs per day. Um, we do a weightlifting class. We do a yoga class, um, tai chi, um, just strengthening exercises is, uh, is what we do. Normally, it's done with a physical therapist or an occupational therapist or a staff member. They're always led um, exercise programs. That's awesome. So we really should move in because we would be um, have help with our laundry. We'd be able to eat <laughs> on a regular basis, um, have a community of people to hang out with, have trips to play at the casino, a, a happy hour. Yeah, I'm I'm just trying to figure out why you wouldn't. (laughs) Just one phone call away, Carrie. And again, how would they get a hold of you? 785-234-6225. Or our website is atriahearthstone.com. And if you're looking to sell or considering it in the near future, give us a call at 785-213-5188. You can check us out on, online. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, all that good stuff. And just search us at uh, Realty Executives Preferred Advisors Team. And uh, you could also check out our website at TopekaHomeAdvisors.com. So thanks for listening to Real Estate 101. Join us again next week. Thank you for listening to Real Estate 101 with the Kerry Brown team from Realty Executives Preferred Advisors. Tune in again next Sunday at 11 o'clock for Real Estate 101.